Other than that, and today I'll be teaching you the basics of stilting. Let's go. The first step to stilting, obviously, is putting them on. First things first, you're going to slide your foot through the top opening. After your foot is firmly on the foot stand, you're going to use these to tighten it. The foot straps are very similar to snowboard bindings. You just stick the strap through the little clip here and use the lever to ratchet it down to your tightness on your foot. The last step is to tighten the straps located on the back of your calf. If you do not, you will fall easily as the stilts will be too loose. You just pass it through each section there, pull it tight, and clamp it down. When first starting out, standing up can be very difficult with stilting. You want to always make sure that you have a raised platform, such as a chair or park bench, that you can push yourself up with. Also, it's important to always use the buddy system when stilting, so that someone's there to help you keep your balance. Now that you're standing, walking is relatively instinctual. A few things to remember are to keep your toes pointed in. Don't walk like a duck. This can be very damaging to you jumping stilts and cause you to fall a lot more easily. What to do? What not to do? Oftentimes while stilting, you may find yourself on the ground before you want it to be. To get up, first, you're going to throw your left leg behind you while keeping your right leg out in front. Prop yourself up on your knee and slowly scoot your right leg closer towards you. And then, with one monstrous effort, you push up. Now that we've covered the basics of walking and getting up after falling, it's time to move on to the next segment of learning how to stunt, running. Running is very similar to walking in that you'll be using a lot of the same techniques, such as keeping your toes pointed in and not letting your backs hit. In addition to these tactics, you'll be adding a few more, such as making sure to press down hard on the ground with every step so as to accentuate the natural bounce of the jumping stilts to help your momentum, and to lean forward. It's a lot safer than falling backwards and hitting your head. Once you've applied these techniques, it should look something like this. Thank you for joining me for the basics of stilting. Today we covered putting the stilts on, walking, getting up after falling, and running. I'm Matt Storm, keep on stilting.